to stop and have a look at this on the way back. Kara sent me some pictures of the 64 Falcon here for sale. We'll get some pic we'll get some video of that on the way back. It's actually though. A 64 Falcon would be almost identical to this as far as what it is. Um, you know, it's, it's not a performance machine, it's a grocery getter. Both Valiants and uh, Falcons sold excellently. They were, they were real money makers for a while. I mean, now they're classics and people think, holy shit, that's sexy, right? But they weren't even meant to be sexy really back in the day. Also a straight six in it. I guess I don't know all the uh, engine options that were available for it, but uh, kind of smoky and overcast today. Eh? Fire smoke from California is kind of wafting up. Not quite as bad as it was a couple weeks back with the Oregon and stuff, but uh, very rare English car enthusiast checking out this thing. Usually, they just don't give a fuck. They never wave. exactly what that was, but it was a little roadster or whatever. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll see it in the camera and we can examine it a little bit. Not a TR or whatever, but a, uh, I don't know, a little sunbeam thing maybe. Unless it's super obvious, I don't, I'm not really an aficionado of you know how when you go out and it's like everybody seems fucked today? Interestingly, today doesn't seem like one of those days, at least whoever I've had to interact with so far. Been totally on the up and up and happy and not being weird. Sometimes that alone that's weirder sometimes than the than the other way. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it more. I don't like being out when everybody seems fucked and they're all driving weird and like I, those are those are days where you know accidents are gonna fucking happen, right? Just people not paying attention and all kinds of weird ass shit. So it's kind of interesting when you get a day that's the opposite of that. Hopefully that continues. That'd be great. All right, check this baby out here. Oh, it's in super nice shape. That's why he's asking so much money for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's dream. to be 100% original anyway. Classic round. antenna delete. I've been thinking about doing that to the fucking Valiant. But look how it gets full of rust and shit. You know, it's... Yeah. It's in 
really good shape, no doubt. Let's see, that's why he wants $12,000 for it. Paint's in excellent condition. Interior pretty decent, I mean, uh, the fact that they've got, uh, well, a throwover or whatever on the front seat probably says that there's some cracks in the uh, upholstery, but the backs of the upholstery looked all original in the back seat. Pretty nice. The Valiant and the Falcon were made to compete with each other, you know, precisely. Jaunt? Oh shit, I didn't put you up straight. Fuck. We'll talk soon. Take care. Stay dirty. <laughs>